Hi everyone, and welcome to this plant tutorial bite for oxygen not included. As always, make sure to check out the plants tutorial bite if you haven't already, for an overview of the plant mechanics. This plant tutorial bite is all about dust caps, which are called mushrooms that grow in dark places. They naturally live in marsh biomes, with the slime that is used to fertilise them when domestic. Do be a little careful digging up this slime, as it will release slime lung germs so either use Atmo suits, or store the slime in a liquid. Digging up a dust cap gives a fungal spore, which is used to plant dust caps, and can be used to feed Paku, like most seeds. And in the Spaced Out DLC, it also has a use in the Spice Grinder, when combined with Sucrose, to make Rocketeer Spice to give dupes a plus 3 piloting buff, for a little over one cycle. Also interestingly, Fungal spores are found in the buried objects in marsh biomes too. As I mentioned, dust caps will only grow in darkness, and any light will stop their growth. They have a livable temperature range of 5 to 35 degrees Celsius, and only grow in carbon dioxide between 150 grams and 10 kilograms. Dust caps are 2 tiles high, and give off 15 decor at a 2 tile range when growing. To grow fully, a dust cap takes 30 cycles if wild, or 7.5 cycles if domestic. And when domestic, they need 4 kilograms per cycle of slime, which isn't the easiest material to make renewably. But because they only need this solid fertiliser, hydroponic tiles aren't needed, and you can simply use farm tiles. In order to make slime sustainably, you'll have to ranch puffs, which I covered in the puffed critter tutorial bite. A single puffed should be able to feed 11 dust caps, if fully fed polluted oxygen. On to farming dust caps then. A farm like this simply catches the carbon dioxide which naturally falls, and generally Atmo suits shouldn't be needed here. Then there are simply farm tiles being supplied with slime, and the mushroom is collected. I'm showing here auto sweepers with receptacles and loaders, but you can do this manually with tubes too. Also beware that the slime will off-gas polluted oxygen, if stored in gas or liquid below 1.8 kilograms. And if the slime was dug up, then it likely has slime lung germs on it, that can infect tubes. To prevent this, you can use Atmo suits, or stop the slime off-gassing by having gas pressure higher than 1.8 kilograms, or store it in liquid, like in this example. Note that the rails carrying the slime in have been run behind tiles where possible, to also minimise off-gassing. Dust caps can alternatively be wild farmed, and this might be useful as it is an ingredient in one top tier food. Plus when making mushroom wrap, this is the most efficient plant only food in terms of number of wild plants needed, at 9.6 per tube of dust caps and water weeds combined. For a guide to how to do this, see the wild farming and pit planting tutorial bite. And as dust caps are fairly straightforward, let's move on to looking at what they make, which is mushroom. This is an edible food of terrible quality, and you'll get 2400 kilocalories per harvest. Therefore you'd need 12.5 wild plants per dupe, or 3 domestic ones if eaten raw. Mushroom also has a side use in the juicer, for a plus 4 morale boost, and each use needs 300 grams. But mushroom can be easily fried in the electric grill, increasing the calories to 2800 kilocalories for fried mushroom, as well as increasing its quality by one, so this is well worth doing. That means you'll need two and a third domestic plants per dupe if they eat it as fried mushroom, or nine and a third wild. And there are two more ways to use the fried mushroom in the gas range. The first is to combine it with lettuce to make a mushroom wrap, which has a great quality. As I mentioned, this is useful for wild farming, and each dupe needs 6.24 wild plants, or 1.56 domestic ones but also recently introduced is the new mushroom quiche, which is a top tier food of superb quality, and gives the maximum food based morale bonus. To make this, requires the fried mushroom to be combined with omelette and lettuce. Feeding mushroom quiche to one dupe needs 4 and 2 thirds wild dust caps, or 1 and a sixth domestic. Both of these dishes also give radiation resistance from aquatic diet too, as they both contain lettuce. And that's it for this look at the dust cap in Oxygen Not Included. 
I hope this helps you farm these fun little guys, and thanks for watching.